due to the nature of the relations that we discovered in statistics, we will always be testing a hypothesis in the context of another hypothesis, one in the form of an equation and the other in the form of an inequality. Next, we will discuss how to choose hypothesis and classify the test. A null hypothesis is a to-be-tested statistical claim in the form of an equation. It is usually labeled as H0. An alternative hypothesis is a statistical claim in the form of an equality to be tested as an alternative to the null hypothesis. It is usually labeled as capital HA or H1. A testing procedure can be classified as left tail, two tail, or right tail, depending on the inequality used in the alternative hypothesis. Consider the following examples of statistical claims that one may want to test. In this example, the claim is in the form of an inequality. Therefore, it must be set as an alternative hypothesis. Therefore, the null hypothesis is mu equals 170, and the test is left tail. In this example, the claim is in the form of an inequality. Therefore, it must be set as an alternative hypothesis. Therefore, the null hypothesis is p equals 0 0.6, and the test is right tail. In this example, the claim is in the form of an equation. Therefore, it must be set as a null hypothesis. Therefore, the alternative hypothesis must be chosen in the form of an equality. Which one? It depends on the context of the problem. When there is no context provided, it is safe to set it up as sigma squared is not 1.21, and the test is 2 tail. In this example, the claim is in the form of an inequality. Therefore, it must be set as an alternative hypothesis. Therefore, the null hypothesis is mu equals 67,565, and the test is 2 tail. Although right now naming the procedure as left tail, right tail, or two tail may not make sense, soon we will be using this information as a part of the testing procedure. The idea is simple. The inequality defines a spectrum which we will use to evaluate the strength of the evidence. For example, in a right tail test, only values on the right side of the spectrum will be considered as a strong evidence. The further to the right, the stronger the evidence.